Wow. What I will say is everything I thought that my sister locks would be came true. Hello, you guys. Simply Cece here, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, you guys, so I'm coming not with a regular update, and I know this video is going to be different. I don't really know how it's going to be yet, but I got some ideas in my mind. So when y'all seeing it, it means I figured it out, but I got some ideas for this video. So it's going to come off a little different, but we are celebrating your girl's three-year lock anniversary. Right, first off, I will admit that it is my lock anniversary. This is the day in which I um, was locked. And yes, I don't really know the date that this video went up, but I know I'm late to my own anniversary party. Sorry, you guys. But anyway, I am three years Sister Locked, and the journey has been amazing. Because your girl is Sister Locked up. And I ain't gonna even lie, you guys, this is an adjustment for me and uh, an exciting one, but it is an adjustment. I don't know. Would you guys be able to understand that I am happy that my hair is locked and uncomfortable at the same time like does that make sense can anyone relate to that because that's how i feel i feel very uncomfortable with my hair but i don't want my locks out if that makes sense i want to keep them though i just feel really uncomfortable right now with them and i think it's mainly because i don't know how to style them i mean it's different now i don't wear a fro but i can tame a fro y'all when i tell y'all these locks they do they own fizzing. I mean, they doing they own fizzing. Like, I just, only I can try to tame it a little bit with some water. That's all I put on my hair. I mist it with a little bit of water to try to make them shrink back up because when I sleep on them, they get sh squished and they be pointing out here and some be going in and some be, you know, smashed and this be trying to go over here. It be doing its own thing. And I know it's probably part of the reason why I'm uncomfortable is because I've never worn my hair in locks. I've never had anything like this on my head but at the same time i love it though too but i like i said i'm uncomfortable um i know i'm gonna share some snippets of so many experiences and things i've been through on this journey ups and downs have some ups and some downs rushing to the burn but i'm here sorry but anyway it has been all over the place in such a beautiful way. And I have shared that. I haven't elaborated on the emotional and mental side of this sister like journey as much as I did at the very first year of my journey because I did the most adjusting um, ever, in my opinion, in the very first year, you guys. And it, it, it was all worth it. It was, it was so worth it. And then here going, looking over year three, because now we are currently already in the beginning of year four of my sister like journey. It's like a moment to be like, wow. What I will say is everything I thought that my sister locks would be came true. I had doubts. I thought about cutting them off. I ain't gonna even lie y'all. Before I did this retie, your girl thought about cutting them off, but we went through some things, okay? And like though, but for today, like in the mirror today, I didn't want anything y'all. I didn't. like satisfied I finally knew I was already enough I finally was happy with everything I saw from the inside out and that was before I put my makeup on that is what this journey has been to me um and I didn't share everything but I'm gonna get into it it's so much to share well it's not so much but it's a big big and I'm not like big thing that I have to tell y'all that happened to me um, in my sister like journey that I was like, we about to go ball headed and just wear a little fro. And I'm so glad I held on and I got to share with that, that with you guys as well. But as you guys are listening to me talk, I promise you, you're going to be seeing snippets of my journey. Some of my favorite moments that I filmed and shared with you guys. Um, views, I'm going to be showing everything from the very first year all the way to three years because I want you guys to just 
be able to reminisce with me. I know some of you guys are coming along a little later and y'all may not have went all the way back on my channel to check out where I started, but your girl was looking very, very plump chicken-ish and I really didn't have no hair. And it was very, very short. I literally waited probably for the minimum length I could have that my loctician, our sister lock consultant, I should say, was willing to start mine on. And shout out to you, Sharif, if you ever see this video. She is the one who set this whole thing in motion. For me, she installed my locks. I have a pair of approximately 300 sister locks on my head, you guys. And um, it's just been freaking amazing. It truly has been an amazing journey. And she set this in for me. I had reservation i had like i had these thoughts i wanted to have more i'm so happy i have just 300 i don't think i want any more any less i used to think i wanted more but no i like the fullness of them we me and my locks we have grown together in this journey and matured in this relationship and i cannot imagine my life without them now they are such a part of me and i mean yes it's my hair so it just it's that much more beautiful so let's get into what has happened recently you guys so your girl had expressed in her very last sister like update that was probably i'm not gonna even hold it probably four months ago at this point who knows i don't really know but it wasn't last month it wasn't. So, um, I am, um, I have been re my hair, I think for at least a year now. Your girl did her very first re -time. Yes, you heard it first here, people. Yes, you heard what you heard. I did my own re -time. You guys, like, this is how the grid is looking. Like even see how when I pull that up, that is so oh effing satisfying. I'm not even gonna lie to you. If not, it's almost a year. I don't really remember when I started doing my own self retires because I did one, then I went back to her, and then I wanted to do it again. And so I've been doing it ever since. Love it. It's been a journey because I'm not gonna lie, I've scared myself on this journey, thinking that I've damaged locks. I done did some things that I'm not proud of, but it's all part of the journey. So I am a self-retire now, as you should know if you've been following me for a while, I do my own retires now, but I did not install these. Um, some people seem to get some kind of way when I say sister locks. I mean, it's not everybody. I mean, actually it was like one person, but if you feel some kind of way because I say sister locks, I don't do it in any other way than being able to say that that is the method in which my locks were started. Now that they have matured, now that I retire them, I don't know if it's much different than um, what micro locks do, to be honest. I think it's the rotation. I'm learning, people say that three point rotation is the where you can get the most fullness. I am currently on a four point rotation because that's what I started on and I went to two point rotation for a little bit and then I found this beautiful spot in the four point rotation. I don't know, it just feels right to me. I even thought about doing three point rotation because people are like, it'll give you more fullness. But then I'm like, I really like my fullness in my locks and I'll take it down in a minute, but I'm trying to be very dramatic on showing off my length and stuff. So get back there, stop, you know, hide, hide. Don't be showing them nothing yet. We're going to do the whole drop down in a minute. And if you skip it and go to the end, you just going to miss all the good stuff because that's going to come anyway. But, um, so I've been self-retiring and I shared in my last retire update that I created knots. Oh, y'all, those, those things make you want to square up. Like, and I can't be mad at anybody but myself. I didn't quite understand how I did them. And I think since I've now uh, managed to put three knots in my hair, three pretty nice size knots too. I'm not going to leave it. It's one back here that I feel it and I'll just get angry at me clearly because I did it. But I put knots in my hair and I think I'm understanding how I did it. And one way to avoid doing something again is understanding how you did it in the first place. So I think I figured that out. I'll explain it on a later, later video as I keep making sure it's accurate or it is a reasonable um, explanation of what a knot is in a sister lock. I'm pretty sure if you have sister locks, maybe even micro locks, you have dealt with it. My uh, sister lock consultant has shared with me that people get knots, especially when we try to do it ourselves. So... I must have 
narcissistic. Anyway, I don't care. So, so since I did create a knot in substantial size, so let's let's pull it down. We're gonna talk about the knot lock. So right here, ooh, see her? Ooh, look, let me pull her out so y'all can get the. This is a knot, babies. This is a. And what it does is it makes it very complicated when you're retying because now this knot has to go through when you retie and interlock, basically. And it can hurt. It can get stuck in a way that can create a bigger knot. So it's very, what I'm learning, a dangerous booger. That's all I'm going to say. Be careful with the knots. And maybe because of the size of mine, it's pretty big. But I also have made one over here. Now, you guys may look at this and say, there is no knot now. Well, it's not. So what happened to her? Let's talk about it. So the knot over here was pretty substantial. I'm going to make sure I find footage to show. Y'all know I have, I used to call them struggle edges, my edges, clearly. But we call them thriving edges now because we are um, using prophetic word to speak life over them, okay? And they have bloomed in a way that I appreciate. I'm just saying, the fact that I can stand right here under these lights and I can tell there's some, there's some little slick slick, listen, I've learned to just embrace me and and she is part of me and it's just how it is. The Some of it's from damage, but I feel like it's just not that bad. I just feel like at the beginning, it used to be, like you can see all my hairs in here, they're just extremely, extremely fine and see-through. So I'm happy. I mean, because you might say they thin, but you ain't going to say them bald. And if you do, you're just lying because I'm clearly not bald. I'm not slick there. I am just thin there. And I am taking very much pride in what it is because we're not going to stress it. But anyway, this knot is gone because I decided I was going to trim the knot. Yes, it was going in the way that you guys think it's going. Yes, I trimmed the knot and then I went and proceeded to interlock in the lock. It didn't even snap. It literally just came apart because clearly cutting a knot is cutting your hair. But I did it. I mean, I can't explain it. It was absolutely stupid, but that's what happened. So I cut this lock off and it was fair. It was just a little fuzz ball and I was stressed. I was, I was, I was stressed. Honey, was your girl stressed? I was stressed because I just had like a little short piece right here that wasn't a lock. And then I was like, well, see, it's going to grow back. I contemplated cutting all my locks off because I was like, dang, I cut it off. Then I said, I do traditional locks. I was like, girl, I would not suggest to anyone who has a head full of locks to cut off all your locks because one lock gets cut on accident or it breaks or anything like that because hair does grow back. But was I bothered? I was. So she, yes, she, this lock was in my drawer for about three weeks. And I didn't even want to come on here and update you guys because I just did not want to tell you guys that I cut my hair. I cut my lock off. My life, my strength, it, it really did something to my self-esteem. I had to have a seat. I had to sit down. I went into a mild, I don't say depression. I, I didn't really get depressed. We're not going to speak that over ourselves. I didn't. I was just a little sad and disappointed. But then... I was like, see her, all things happen for a reason, right? And I was like, you know, it was meant to be. It wasn't what you intended, but here you are. But some say keep your lock. So we're going to get to how do we get it, you know, we're going to be gentle, but how do we get it back on here? Yes, your girl reattached her sister lock, okay? No, 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 I didn't film it. I am sorry. But since we have a knot over here and I have one in the middle, as I watch how this does, I will probably do the same thing over here because I've heard when people with sister locks get these knots, the thing is it's painful and I usually let them grow out to cut it off because they want that knot gone. And I totally understand because over here, now the beautiful thing about this is over here, you guys, was this is my harsher side, but as you look now, they look about the same. Now, what did we do different? What, what opportunity came was that this lock was started pretty much, if you could see, let me let me get a pointer so I can keep y'all, I got a little chopstick, this is what we're going to go with. So, if you look here, we have this little square motion right here, right? That was initially the lock and a little bit of this hair. And I had fuzz hair right here that was just out that I used to coil myself. So the beautiful thing about cutting a lock and my hair had grown out because the edges have been growing since I got locks put in. 
was that now I could kind of replace where the lock goes. So that's what I did. So now I feel like when I pull it up, it doesn't look worse. They kind of match more, but I will show you footage where this one used to sit back a lot further and it was getting very much bald. And I will say, I love my hair. And this was the lock I disliked the most. So also on that fact that I ended up, I'm showing off my lens. So. Um, also on the fact that I didn't uh, really like it anymore. I wanted it to be adjusted, but it was like, how do you do that once a lock is installed? But see, we found that out. So, but this one is perfectly fine in its placement. It was always fuller, but now this one is giving full. Because honestly, guys, in the middle of this hair, we got a slick spot. So it's here all around, but it's in the middle. It was just, it was bald and it was slick. It wasn't, it wasn't going to grow. The follicle was smoothed over. It was scarred. It was not coming back. So it was a blessing in disguise. And since we choose to be positive, that's what happened. So yes, I cut a lock off, reattached it. And if I do the same over here, which I have a, I'm probably going to do it. Cause I didn't even retwist tie it when I did this last retie. I just did a traditional twist like this because it was, it was it was getting stuck and it was stressing me so i just did a quick twist retie like a um palm roll thing and clipped it and just let it dry so it's the only one that like that but that's what's been happening but the journey has been great so let's get into this lint now that i talked about everything and let's let's talk about oh where my comment so here's the hair you guys so this is my locks, you guys. And this is them in the back. I stand up. And this is the back. I try to keep my head straight so y'all can see. This is my three year growth. And I'm pretty impressed. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm pretty impressed that I'm down past my shoulders. I need to bring y'all down some because I feel like I'm cutting my locks off a little bit yeah so i can stand straight and keep my head straight so yeah i'm not cheating but yeah look yeah so this is your girl's hair and i'm so proud of her she has been thriving and doing wonderful so in the first three years well a little over a year um I, I cut a lock off on accident, but it was worth it. The grid is still amazing uh, for three years. I, I just really thought I would probably lose it at some point. But as you guys see, the grid is looking great. And no, I have not. I have a channel, I mean, a video on my channel about, ooh, let's, let's side party, um, about how I um, maintain my frizz free grid. And um, I did not do that this time. Again, I did just a normal retie, keeping the hair out the way. But, you know, y'all can, you can see how it's staying. For three years, I just, I'm confident that I can keep this through the life of my life until, unless something happens, God forbid, that I can no longer do my own retires. But this is, this is how it looks. And I am just, I'm trying to just show you as much of it as possible. I mean, as you can see the top and everything. And uh, the hairline, you know, we let's get all up in it because now we got this new positioning, but you can see the hairs. Do I think those will ever be locks? Probably not, but it's okay because it's just way too thin to think about putting a lot there. But again, this journey has been fantastic. I have cried. I have been uncertain. I've been uncomfortable and I've had so much fun and I have bloomed and have even more confidence with my hair. I just feel like it's just so beautiful. I don't believe anyone if they say it's not because it's not even that you may not like my hair or someone may not like it. It's just I don't care. I love it so much because I genuinely just like it. It's not whether anyone likes it anymore. And I mean, it's really how I've been wearing my hair, but it's just, it's just different being my own hair. I'm so excited to see what my growth is going to be like in another year. I think I'm going to try to go a year without um, coloring it because simple fact that 
I don't know, like, I just want to, like, let it be dark. Like, I love, I'm feeling the ombre. I like the ombre here. And I like that because my ends are older, there it, it ombres and gets a little lighter on the ends. So, we'll see. But I, it's something about my dark hair. I did miss that. So, I think I'm going to go longer. And I feel like even if I do color it again, which I may touch it up maybe next summer, if I'm in the mood for that, I still refuse to put any bleach on my hair. It's just not happening. I just... I've done it on lots and your hair can be there, but I just don't want to do that. I just, it just changes it. It makes it feel really dry. And this has been the most that I, I feel comfortable doing on my hair for a long time. And I like the color and it kind of stays for a while. So, and it looks really good. Like when I have it in a bun next to my dark hair, you can see how light it actually is and the way it's ombre down. I absolutely am loving that. And it just makes it really fun. I, um, I'm excited to try some new, um, like, locking, I mean, styles. I got some styling videos coming, but I think I'm going to try to roll them and things like that. Because I feel like I'm just at the point where I feel confident about doing it. I felt like my hair was shorter, too short for it. But Miss Kincaid, I was looking at her updated journey. And honestly, I didn't know. And Miss um, Kiki J like well kendra i should say kendra and kiki j they're the only two people i really really follow and look at because they do like more not just updates but they they do like little tutorials they're the reason i got confident in doing my self reties um i looked at both of their self reties um they both did the two-point rotation i believe but i don't know if they changed that because i haven't looked at an updated one if it is but i um definitely um um learned a lot from them and I got my product that I use to retie my hair from Ki from Kiki J. So the um I was looking at their hair and they're all about three years and I was like, oh her hair is kind of the same length. Not like trying to be like them or nothing. But uh Miss Kendra does so many beautiful styles of her hair. Like she always like rolls it and I'm always inspired and then when it's time to do it I get so intimidated with my own hair because it seems like a lot. I gotta roll a bunch. I don't know how many rollers I gotta use, things like that. But she does inspire me to try to do more stylists and I do want to roll my locks for the first time and share that experience with you guys because I still haven't done it. I will do a braid out but I haven't actually rolled it and I really want to do that. And when I was looking at her length, I was like, okay, Sierra, you're right there. You long enough. Cause you never, I guess I didn't understand how long that her hair was before she rolled it. So when I saw the video here, not too long ago, I saw her length and I was like, okay, you, you kind of there. So, and I want to say that they're about three years too. If I'm not mistaken, if you guys watch me, you probably have seen them because they're way bigger channels than I am. But I feel like I came across and I was like, oh my God, their journey is about as long as mine. But when I got on there, I just felt like they've been having a way longer than me. And when I saw Kendra's locks for the first time, I absolutely thought she had sister locks. She had to clarify on her channel, so most, a lot of people thought it. But anyway, that is all of the updates I have for you guys. It, it has been a wonderful journey. Um, I can't, I can't wait to keep continuing on. I'm excited about next summer. I, I, I love the hanging that we're getting. Like, this is amazing. I'm thinking about maybe trimming because for some reason, some of them seem to fall a little bit longer, but it's not that big of a deal where I feel like I want to cut them, but I, it has crossed my mind, like just trimming some at the very bottom, like, you know, some that just fall a lot longer, like this one. It comes all the way down here. And I guess they all probably do. It's just they spring up differently. I got on this dark gown so you can't see. But anyways, you guys, I've been loving the journey. If you're thinking about starting it, start it. Don't hesitate. You're going to love it too. Locks are locks. Yours may have a little bit different unique style to them or look to them because it's just your unique hair. And enjoy that. But I have not come across a head of sister locks or micro locks that I don't think are absolutely beautiful. So if you're thinking about it, it's a great journey. It is freedom. It is a lot easier. Um, I do self retires, um, and it's probably some other people to do. But if you find somebody to do it and you don't want to do all that, even getting somebody to do it. It wasn't like my lady was bad. I think it's the hairstylist in me that just wanted to do it. And I'm so particular. I wanted my parts to look like this. So sometimes I'm learning if, it, if you can do it, you can do it yourself. But if you can't, you go to somebody who can. And then if you don't like the way someone does it, you find someone until you do like them. That's just a thing. But you can find a solution. And um, 
yeah, and really, really enjoy the journey. Like, I love it. It's the best decision. I know I've said that before, and I will say it time and time again. Best decision I ever made. I'm actually a warm to pull this hair back up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it is, it is really one of the best things I ever did for myself. And I'm about to go to bed anyway. And I just don't regret it. I am in love. Oh, now, my, my, now I need to pull y'all up. My bun kind of long. But, you know, I am so in love with what my hair looks like. And I guess I can show y'all my clean. My, na my neckline it is probably the cleanest I've seen it. I have a way that I used to show, treat, deal with it, and I'll share that with you guys. But um, it's so clean. They're, it's just they're just thriving in beautiful ways. And even though it devastated me, this me actually cutting this lock was such a blessing because I learned I can do something. I could put it in a place that made me feel way more confident to even do stuff like this. Like I didn't like really pull my hair up because this one's so far back, and I just really wish it was here. But this side this is as damaged. Just been great. But do it, you guys. Ladies, if you're thinking about it, do it. And um, enjoy. Like, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be so freeing. It's so feminine still. Um, and um, I don't know. It's great. And I feel like I could tell my hair was meant to do this. And I can tell by the way it thrives, the way it grows, that it loves it too. And I love it. And even in three years, and even though I do use... Um, that product to retie my hair. My hair is still light as a feather. Like it's still very light. It's not heavy. Only time I feel weight is when I wash it in the shower, but that's because it has water in it. But other than that, like once it dries, I get all the water out. They're so lightweight too. So you guys enjoy. I hope that this was helpful. Thank you guys for being with me so far on my journey. And I can't wait for us to experience so many more other things as I continue this. Um, as always, you guys stay blessed, stay motivated, and stay close to God. Remember, God doesn't want to trick you. He never wants to hurt you. He loves you and he cares for you. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye. Keep your fancy drinks and your expensive mix. I don't need that to have a good time. Expensive car and your caviar All I need is my guitar